Hello, my name is Brandon and I'm your host for this series of tutorials for Disco DSP's Synth Corona. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the basic concepts inside of Corona. You can find all the basic concepts that we cover in this video in the bottom left hand corner of Corona. The first part that we're going to cover is the polyphony section. You can choose between 1 and 32 voices. If you only have one voice selected and play two notes, the second note that you play will cut off the first. This gives you a monophonic sound. If you have more than two voices selected, you have a polyphonic sound. The default polyphony is set to 16 voices. If you're not going to use that much, you might want to turn it down a little bit because it uses up your CPU power. You can change the number of voices you want to use by clicking the drop down arrow underneath polyphony. The next thing we're going to look at is the program and bank section which is located at the bottom of Corona. You can click on the program LCD to see a list of available patches or you can use the forward and backward arrows to browse presets or banks one by one. Just above this section is the fine tune slider. You can set the slider between 50 and negative 50. The higher the number, the more precise your knob editing can be. Next we're going to jump over to the pitch bend wheel. The pitch bend wheel does exactly what it sounds like, it bends your pitch. Not only does it do that, but it does it in real time. You can use the range selector right next to the wheel to choose how many steps the pitch will bend. The top selection gives you how much you can bend upwards, and the bottom gives you how much you can bend down. If you click the link button, it'll link both top and bottom, which gives you the same pitch bend in both directions. The modulation wheel, or mod wheel, which is located right next to the pitch bend wheel, can be assigned to several modulation matrix destination parameters. The modulation matrix is located right above the mod wheel and we covered in a later video. Next let's look at the play mode. In the play mode you can hit the drop down box and select either mono, legato, or poly. In mono mode one voice of the synthesizer is used. In this mode any note played will discontinue the previous one. Legato is a monophonic mode in which envelopes are not restarted when new keys are played. Poly is a polyphonic mode which allows multiple notes to be played at once. There are three alternative options to select also, which are Mono 2, Legato 2, and Poly 2. These modes are the same except that Portamento is only active when there is a key down. There is no Portamento when the first note of the phrase is played. Portamento glides the pitch between the current note and the newly played note. The higher the value, the slower the transition progresses. Next, let's look at the Master Gain. Below master, there is a knob where program gain can be set. If you're experiencing some clipping, you might want to lower the master gain on the synth before changing the gain anywhere else in your program. Last but not least, let's look at the editing functions. You can access these functions by clicking edit or right clicking anywhere on the screen. The program functions are rename, store, restore, cut, copy, and paste for any of the patches. Underneath settings, you can select the dark theme. You can also choose Help, which opens the manual, or Disco DSP's website. Now back above the program and bank is the Velocity Curve and Transpose section. Velocity Curve allows you to set Normal, Hard, Soft, or you can set the Velocity at Fixed 100 or Fixed 127, which is the highest. You can also transpose your sound by semi-steps anywhere between 63 and negative 64. And that covers the basic concepts for Corona.